the sun is out, so I rushed to the park. Okay, this video is on uh, when group socialising goes wrong. Now, here's my group. You know, everyone belonging to the group in a comfortable way. Looking after each other, all the stuff I've said in previous uh, videos. Right, now, for me, I've... I don't do group socialising, so this is an observation um, rather than an experience, but uh, hopefully it makes sense. Right, for me, group socialising goes wrong. Group socialising goes wrong when it, a group turns into a tribe. Now, well, I call it a tribe. Um, for me, what a tribe basically represents is when the group gets more intense, which is why I've drawn two lines around instead of one. So that all, that, all that happens is that the emotions of the group just go up a couple of notches. So the intensity of the relationship between the group member and the leader goes up. The leader feels more, has greater desire to protect and nurture the group members, and the group members have a greater desire to sacrifice their individual needs for the benefit of the whole, the greater good, if you like. So the intensity is much higher. Yet this isn't a problem until the outside world um, kicks in to the tribe. Um, one example, um, classic example I've, I've observed, um, is when this particular tribe member also belongs to another group over here. This group is a group because it's got a single line, <laughs> so it's not quite as intense. But within this group, the leader of the group might do something that that the tribe members over here, the tribe members think is against the best interest of their tribe member. So what this does is trigger this intense response from the leader to protect their tribe members. So the team leader feels deeply intense to protect this tribe member within this group. So what the tribe leader tends to do, this one here, they then rattle over and attack the group leader. They'll find a way of making the group leader wrong to reduce the power of the group leader so that the group leader then starts listening a lot more to the tribe leader so the tribe leader effectively takes control of this group. And by taking control of this group, the tribe member is now protecting their tribe member within the group. Of course, what can happen though, often I've noticed what happens, is this leader, because he's attacked, or because they're attacked, what they tend to do is react and attack back. Right? And what that tends to do is turn this group into a tribe as well. Because this, the leader then says, I've been attacked, corral around me, tell me I'm right, and that the tribe leader's wrong. We get right-wrong conversations going on between the leaders. And then this group turns into a tribe where intensity of emotions have now cranked up because their leader's being attacked. So they convert into a tribe to protect their attack from another tribe. And then the concept of tribes goes from one group to another group to another group to another group as it spreads. Uh, okay, and then what happens of course is there's the tribe, well that is there's a bunch, a whole bunch of fighting basically going on between tribes now. And then the poor person that happens to belong to both tribes um, is then ultimately under huge pressure to choose which tribe to belong to. Do they go to that tribe or do they go to this tribe? And of course, from my experience of talking to people who've been in that situation, it's very unpleasant. And that, for me, is how group socialising goes wrong. OK, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.